six two-minute rounds in the welterweight division. And here's the tale of the tape, ladies and gentlemen, Bajana Lipiswenska, seven wins, 52 and 0. Maria Valencia, 2 and 0 as a professional from Split in Croatia. This is promoting Johnny Clark's maiden professional show for top tier boxing. I'm Aki Karim. I am joined by former world champion Barry Jones. We have Maria Malencia in the ring, 2-0 against Bojana Libes Zuska. This is six two-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Barry, uh, first um, female fight of the card, two-minute rounds. And uh, from what I'm hearing, Maria Valencia, she can fight. She's 2-0. Bojana Libes Zuska, I've seen her around the circuit as well. She is a very experienced journeywoman. Yeah, just took a good right hand there, Libesuska there off, off Valencia. She looked quite decent, doesn't she? For, off first look at here, Valencia. Nice fluent movement, good feet. And also looking to be busy, and in two minute rounds, you have to be busy, you can. You can't afford to take your foot off the gas. Not a lot of time to do your work. Again, nice counter good, right hand yeah, there, Barry. Second one on the, second one on the spin there, from Valencia. Now this is Croatia against Poland. I don't know if that is a local derby. I'm not sure. If, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if it is, but it's uh, it's in Essex. That's for certain, and it's a it's a good show tonight. Uh, it's really filled up in here, Barry, and it's uh, I think it's going to be a good atmosphere. Yes, man, you, you, know, you do one fight, you turn around, and all of a sudden it's like <laughs> double, the, double the capacity. It's good to hear from Valencia, though. Keeping that front foot in the centre of them. The bazooka stance all the time, keeping under pressure. Again, that nice little bounce to a step there, just to get a little bit of rhythm to her work. And she's doing what you were talking about earlier with one of the other uh, fighters. She's actually moving into range, but she's moving ahead while she's moving yeah, into range, yeah, isn't she? It's massively important when you're coming forward. Well, people obviously say punches can't take a punch, and it's not that, it's that they're in range to get caught and they commit to the shot. So, so like moving your head's really important. And Malencia did that, and it was a good little first round for her. A bit of an exploration, sort of a feel about it. She had a look, she had a look at her opponent, but I think now she knows what, what she got, what, what, what's up against, what she's up against. She can go to work a little bit more now in the second round. In we go into round number two here. Six two-minute rounds in the welterweight division. And uh, yeah, we like what we've seen so far from Maria Ma uh, Malencia. Oh, she made the move with there, Malencia. She tipped the left roll to the left, just didn't come back with the left hook. She did everything but throw the shot. See there, a little, little step, step back there from Alexia, just, just trying to force Libazuski just, just didn't draw her onto something so she could catch her with a shot. Yeah, you can see that she's working, she's trying to find openings, she's yeah. trying to pick the lock, as they say. But the feet are good, that in, that, she's on the balls of her feet in and out all the time. Just makes it a threatening, you know, just a threatening figure constantly in front of an opponent. Yeah, it's that mental pressure, isn't it? The foot yeah, pressure, the yeah, mental pressure. Yeah, it drains you dramatically. Unless you're used to it, of course, then you don't react. But I've spoken to, well, we both have, obviously, but a lot, a lot of uh, high-level professional fighters who have like world title shots, etc., and they say when they're in there against a really good champion, it's not just the physical pressure, it's the mental pressure. They're in your eye line. They're closing you down, the way they're walking you down. It's all, it all adds yeah, up, doesn't it? Well, you see, especially, well, you see it quite often with ex Eastern European type oh. fighters, Golovkins, you know, and... Better be Evs. Yeah, you know, the... Kovalev, all those people, they put their foot, front foot in the Uzik, mm. Lomachenko to an extent. They put that front foot in the right in the centre and the stance put you in pressure straight away. Yeah. Make you panic. Yeah, I remember Uzik doing it beautifully in the Tony Bellew fight, actually. Kept, kept that pressure on. Every fight, I'm told, is heavyweight, because you can't, it's physically not big enough to be an intimidating figure, but yeah, it, it works. Now, Valencia doesn't do that, but she does the, the in and out with her feet, so she's there and she's back, she's there and she's back, so you feel like. She's there and I'm pressurising you, but then if you look to throw a shot, she takes that step back and you know you can't throw. Here we 
we go into round number three. We're at the Brentwood Centre in Essex, and it is really filling up in here. Got a good night of boxing for you. The minute we are seeing Maria Malencia in there with Bojana Libizuska. Let's turn up the pace here now, actually, Malencia. Yeah, she definitely came out with a, a much higher tempo in this round. And as you said, with the two, the two minute rounds, it's over in the blink of an eye, actually. Yeah, well, you win the first minute then, you, you, you sit back and relax, can you? All the pressure is on, the, on your opponent then. There's a panic, maybe, in their work. If they come with ambition to win, of course. There's a, there's a raging debate going on about two minute or three minute rounds. We were talking earlier about Katie Taylor Serrano, what a fight that was. It might not have been as explosive if it was three rounds. Well, um, might, sorry, three minutes. It might have been a different outcome if it was three rounds. Good shot. Yeah. But, you yeah. know, I, I think it should be 12 rounds for the title fight. And maybe keep it at two minutes. But I think the 12 rounds would make a, make a huge difference there. It's, again, there, it's... But there's an argument that it's such a golfing class from one level to another with women's boxing. Only because there's not strength and depth yet. Like in any new, relatively newish sport, it's not a new sport, but still, the more people do it now than ever before, it's it's that that you know, you'd, be, you'd be having women fighting, moving up the levels because there's no intermediate intermediate, le intermediate gap, level, yeah. and then those that last minute is a big difference in a fight, and there'd be a lot of people getting hurt and stopped. I, I feel that would be the case because the, the women that are good are very oh, really, good. really yeah, good. That's, yeah. yeah. Well, another round in the bank there for Maria Malencia as we go into, I think it's the fourth round going into now. Round number four of six in the welterweight division, and so far I think we've got all the rounds for Maria Malencia. Oh, good shot again there for Malencia. Yeah, she's been well, quite comfortable, I feel. Boxing really well and dominating every exchange. Like to see, she used the jab there, but like to see, oh, good shot. Yeah, good jab. Yeah, let's see use a little bit more. She can double up behind it. I think you know, she can push the push her opponent back with that, get on the ropes, and then go to work with that solid right hand that she has. And to mix it up, you know, go head, go dip down low with it, then to do the second shot. And that makes you bend your knees, and then you then you get more purchase on that on that big right hand over the top. Would you consider going in, going into training, Barry? No, no. No, it's a very <laughs> difficult. It's a difficult job. Yeah, very and, hard. And job. also, fight, fighters leave you, and, I, and I, no, maybe for the better than for them. But it's, a, it's a, you have to be very thick-skinned and dedicate all your time. And I have a family, and it, it's, it's a, and I might not be very good. Knowing, knowing stuff sat here is one thing. You know, to you know, relay that to you and uh, day in and day out. That's the path. Being a good cornerman is not exclusive to being a good coach. People tend to think that's always the same thing, and that day-to-day -day stuff. It, it's very difficult. Box trainers don't get enough credit, to be honest. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the truth. It's a I mean, tough job. They get mentioned more than ever before now, because obviously, ultimately, you're only as good as your fighter. That's the truth. But still, it's a difficult job, and you have to get it right, and you have to get the balance right with different characters and all those things. I've taught myself out of it. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't pay enough. That's the biggest one, unless, you, unless you've got a big heavyweight. All you aspiring trainers out there, don't let Barry put you off. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, we need you. And uh, Maria Valencia doing a good job in this round. She's really moving well, very fluid, and she's uh, she's definitely dominated the round. Yeah, she's boxing well. She is. She's got a distance really well. She knows the shots that are, that are working for her. And she's not overusing them, but making sure she gets plenty of those right hands in. Well, you know how difficult, how difficult it's been to train it is, for example. So say someone like um, Scott Quick, Anthony Crawler, you know, they're training fighters now, but they, they didn't go straight to the They have a wealth of knowledge. He'd been on great fighters and a great and a good trainer, a fantastic great trainer in, in Joe Gallagher. But they still went and, and was holding the pocket yes. for Joe. So they learned that, they watched him. And so they didn't go off. That's what they put the job is. People with all the, their experience, they didn't rush in to just be are gonna train somebody because they knew yeah. how difficult it was. So they did an apprenticeship before they did it. So it, you know, it's, it's a yeah, uh, I see Crawler regularly, and yeah, he did, he did, he did that yeah, apprenticeship, did, yeah. even though he was a world yeah. champion in his own and, right. And Scott Quick, Scott yeah, Quick also, you absolutely. know. absolutely. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult job to do. 
But if a big heavyweight comes up to me, you know, and, and wants me to take 10% of his millions, then <laughs> you can come and live in my... You, you heard it here first, people. You can live in my spare bedroom. Barry is open, but the price has to be right. You've got to be, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much anyone who's already made it to the top and earning big seven-figure fees, I'll train them. Yes. Yeah. That sounds, right, sounds about right. I like a bit like an Angel Dundee. I'll just come in for the last four weeks of camp. <laughs> Well, we are in round number five here. It's got a nice rhythm to it, hasn't it? Mal Valencia, lovely rhythm. Yeah, yeah. It's, got, it's all with the feet. I like a footwork. I was just about yeah. to say, I like a footwork. There's an argument that you know, if you've got to come down off your feet, someone to produce more power. But I think for the, to get the rhythm in the work that she has and the smoothness, that being on the balls of her feet, allowed to just adjust the distance constantly and without massive effort. I she's trying she, to draw a lead as well, she misses, as well yeah. with the footwork. She's trying to yeah, just yeah, yeah. faint a little bit. and Looks like she's trying to go first and third in phases. And definitely a lot to like about, uh, about her, especially she's only had two professional fights to her name. Yeah. Well, that makes you a veteran in women's boxing, unfortunately. <laughs> and well, yeah, I mean, when women's boxing first came onto the scene, there were um, female fighters getting, um, you know, world world title opportunities at maybe five, six, seven fights. So it is, it, but it, there is more, it, there is more fighters now, and it's getting from going from strength to strength. It takes time, it takes time. But it's in a good place. You know, Natasha Jonas just won British Boxer of the Year. Yeah. They don't have a men's and a women's, they just have British Boxer, which is fantastic. Yeah. And she rightfully won that, she unified the division within 12 months. Yeah, I mean, moving up weights as well, drastic move up, oh. move up from weight. It's three ways, but really four ways because she really was a super featherweight. But we spent the whole fight talking about other people, but Valencia there was, in, so far, was a few boxing fantastic. Yeah. Everything at their own pace, dominating every exchange. The footwork's fantastic. Shot selection's good. There's, there's, there's not much not to like. We go into the sixth and final round of this welterweight contest. And uh, we've got Maria Malencia doing the business here, boxing well. Got to give a shout out to uh, her opponent, Libazuska as well, who's played her part. We're live at the Brentwood Centre and next up after this fight, we have Danny Dignam. I know he's got a big following and a lot of people joining us on the stream to watch him from Basildon right here in Essex. Not far off that left hook there, the, the, the Bazuska. Yeah, and the heads came quite close yeah. there. Yeah, she's trying to fire back, isn't she, when she can, but... I think, I think the, the energy just got, no, she, she's committed, but the energy it's, uh, just means the work's a little bit, little bit more readable. It's definitely a more close quarters affair this yeah, round, though. Yeah. And there's no need for it for Valencia, really. She just needs to get up behind the jab now and cruise home. Oh, good shot. Yeah, she just planted the feet there and went for it. Good uppercut there on the inside. Good just engine as well. When she has to run punches, she, she rattles them off and then she gets momentum in her work and... So two punches turns into seven. That's been a really good display, I feel. Really good display. Busy, thoughtful, the footwork's been fantastic. Gentlemen, Maria Malencia moves to 3-0. And that was a good six rounds under her belt there. 